Uh, next, we're going to have Marcos Ramirez uh, Amoretti from IE School of Human Sciences and Technology. He's going to talk to us about social impact of data sciences. Thank you, Asgur. So, well, hello, everyone. How are you? Good. So, well, welcome today. Uh, I hope you have energy for those ones who are participating at the uh, case competition later on. So, I will be very brief with, with this introduction to the impact of data science and big data into society today. So I wanted to put you in context uh, by asking you to take a look to this circle that you have over here. So take a look one moment and see the amount of data that we have generated just in one internet minute last year, 2016. So as you can see, we have a lot of information coming from all these different applications. So for example, uh, WhatsApp has generated only in one minute over 20 million text messages or over 150 million emails sent per minute. So imagine the amount of information that we're generating only in one minute. So this is the reason why companies and why businesses, why governments needs, need the, this new generation of experts, as you were mentioning, this new generation of people who can make a change and impact society through the use of data science in order to be able to extract all the relevant insights that you can get out of that information and create an impact in our society. So what is big data really? Well, you will figure it out for those ones who are not familiar with the topic today and for those ones who are familiar with the topic, you will have the opportunity as well to put in practice those skills and learn more about the impact of data science in our society today. So a lot of people talk about big data and everyone mentions this concept, but very few know what is in reality. So at IE, we have a, a, an approach of making our students to think how to get the most relevant insights out of the information that they are analyzing in order to create an impact into their businesses and the society. So here we have this slide, just very quickly, to highlight some of the areas in which data science is creating an impact today. So as you can see, it's transforming several types of industries, but also it's impacting our society. As you can see, media entertainment, politics, sports, manufacturing, automotive sector, or even government are being impacted through the use of data science. So imagine the amount of solutions that the, this new generation of professionals could find for today in order to make a huge change in our world. So this is the reason why we need data scientists today, in order to be able to create this impact. So everyone talks that data scientists is one of the sexiest jobs of the 21st century, and I'm sure that you have heard that. Everyone talks about these new experts, these new professionals, but which are the skills that these professionals need in reality in order to become successful and be this, uh, this, uh, part of this uh, sexiest job of the 21st century? So these are the skills that these professionals need in order to become successful. And these are the skills also that we're looking forward to see on your business cases today, the ones that are competing there. So technology and programming in order to transform data, that's quite important. Statistics and mathematics, obviously, in order to be able to apply quantitative methods. Business approach, that's essential as well in order to understand the needs of that particular business in order to create an impact. But finally, you have these skills, communication. It's very important to understand how to communicate effectively those insights that you are finding on your information. So data science is a multidisciplinary job which combines different areas. As we can see here, it's a combination between mathematics, technology, but also business and strategy acumen. And this results in data science. So you need to take in mind that it's a role that requires constant improvement. So the ideal data scientist is touching all these different areas that we have here. So it's not, it's not just about statistics, programming, it's more, more than that. It's about optimization, communication, people management, operations, industry knowledge, sales, among many other skills. So as you can see, it's a quite complete profile, 360 degrees. So there are different types of data scientists, and this is very important also to highlight. Many times, 
There are a lot of people that ask me, for example, uh, depending on my background, can I become a data scientist? Yes, no, I'm coming from business, right? Coming from technology. What you need to understand also is that there are different types of data scientists on today's businesses. So depending on your previous experience, depending on your skills or your knowledge, you might be able to complement your profile with one skill or other. So here we have different types of skills, programming skills, statistics, maths, business, machine learning, and big data skills. And as you can see, each one of these four categories of data scientists have one of these sets of skills more developed than the others. For example, the business person has business more developed in comparison to the developer, which has programming skills more developed than the others. So depending on this background, we will find different types of data scientists in our businesses today. So well, industry experts are saying a lot of different things about data scientists. I will highlight this fourth quote that we have here today. So top five industries hiring these type of professionals are consulting firms, IT services, manufacturing, finance and insurance, and retail. So these are the industries which are suffering, let's say, the highest impact through data science. So today's world is living a digital transformation. Big data, real-time solutions, cybersecurity solutions, machine learning are part or are key, let's say, to that digital transformation that we are living today. So data-driven business deliver 100 times more personalized customer experience. It's just one fact that we can take from this slide. So here we have these uh, data-driven business models. These three companies are data-driven business models. Spotify, Airbnb, Uber. All of you are familiar with these companies, right? So who would like to share maybe what do they have in common? What do you think they have in common in their business model? Platforms, someone said shared economy and someone over here said data. I don't know, who said data here? Okay, yeah, personal preference, collection of data. Yeah, the disrupted, okay, existing businesses, let's say transportation, in this case, hospitality or world, or world hotel, hotel bookings. Hear music. And one important fact also is that they are basing that business model in data. So at the end, what we can see these companies have in common is that they have zero physical assets, each one of them. So Uber is a company that is moving more people in the world, but they have zero cars. Airbnb is a company that is booking more hotel rooms, but they have zero hotels. The same case as Spotify with the music studios or with Netflix. They have zero movie studios. So as we can see, the new leaders have zero physical assets and they have only data. So imagine the amount of new businesses that will continue emerging in the following years related to data management, to data science. So the world has actually changed. So we're living on a new era based on data. Data is eating our world. So well, this is one more example about how data science is transforming our world. This is a self-driving car. So well, basically, this is an example of a connected object based on machine learning. And I would like to close with this slide that it's one uh, simple thing that our students from our master's degree have done, which is uh, a bot, which is a very simple example of artificial intelligence and how the use of data can help to improve also the interaction between this bot, okay, and the final user. So this is improving, as I have mentioned before, the customer experience in this case between the final user and, um, and the company based on data science and machine learning. So with that, I would like to close this a quick introduction to the topic, and I will pass the microphone to Oswur. And well, thank you very much for being here today, and I'm sure I will have the opportunity to speak to some of you later on during the business case competition. Thank you.